when I started, when I just become a monk, a novice monk, uh, my biggest, biggest problem that I have to encounter is my biggest issue is arrogance and temple. My temple is big, very bad temple. If a person is arrogant and big temple, who wants to be your friend? That's why I have few friends. I don't have much. I don't have many friends. True, it's true. Also, because of the temple, my bad temper, I also lost a good friend of mine. So after that, I reflect: if I don't change this bad temper and my arrogance, it will become a biggest obstacle in my path. Uh, of life in my life. And also, after all this transformation that I have after learning from Buddha, I, all my friends, my family started to learn Buddhism. And a lot of the them learned because of seeing my transformation from someone who was very angry into someone who was very calm, able to take in situation well. Even though I still have temple, but I still um, I have improved a lot from then. Uh, I have transformed from getting angry, reactive towards situations that are not to my likings, but into something. Maybe if I meet some troublesome people, I felt more on a pity side than or more sympathetic side rather than being angry. Like this person has a lot of issues he has to face. That's why he's like that. So once you understand who your teacher is, his example that he has set, then. Only then you have confidence in learning from him. So let's continue into the main uh, topic of the day. Uh, when we're learning Buddhism, the first thing we need to know, uh, Shakyamuni Buddha uh, has talked a lot of uh, teachings, has a, uh, how we talk a lot, how we choose um, a path. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. Shai Muni Buddha has given a lot of methods of cultivation, but we need to learn how to choose a path that is suitable to us. Uh, and all this um, has to in accordance to our to our levels. So there are tr there are there are few ways to choose the path that is suitable to you. Uh, number one is it has to met your current situation, your living environment. Your capability is number one. If, are, are you able to learn from it? If you're not able to learn or catch up with the teachings, then you will find uh, everything is an uphill battle and you lose a lot of motivation and issues. So, for example, why are we choosing a pure land method? Because it's simpler for us. Sometimes when we have issues, met some problems, we put all our worries into this one Amitabha, Amitabha as, uh, seeking his help to give me strength uh, to overcome, to face these conflict issues face to face uh, and overcome it. So how? By increasing my wisdom. Uh, so it's easy because I have a central focus. But if you choose something like Zen Buddhism, we have to know that Zen Buddhism is really good. Uh, it's not because it's bad, but it's, the standard is very high in order to master it. You need to able to see through all phenomena and aware of its essence so that we are not getting dragged away by these um, surfaces. Uh, appearance. So you need to have a very sharp, uh, sharp observation. So it's very hard to master it one lifetime. Other than the capabilities, we need to learn about our. We need, it need to be suitable. This method needs to be suitable to our current living environment, and also it has to fit in our current realities that we are living. You know, this era, sensibilities of this era. Right now, we are living in a very tight society, I mean, in the big societies. Without societies, without communities, uh, we cannot survive. Say, if we want to eat today, where did the food come from? Where did this food provision from? 
If you want to wear clothes, where did this clothes with? Where was this clothes made? The fact that you can live in this world and not just survive, you can live with peace, in peace with food, with shelters, with uh, safeties, protections. It relies on all, everyone, societies. Without this society, we can't survive. Uh, so right now, since we are living in this society, we need to s choose a method that allow us to continue to live like that suitable to our current realities. Otherwise, if if we pick something that are not suitable to our current living environment realities, then it's just a waste of time then, because we can't get the result. Like picking a major in university, all right. If we choose something wrong, as in in are not suitable to us, hence it's wrong to us, then it becomes a obstacle rather than a path to success for us. All right. If we choose something that are really suitable to us. Uh, then we will be achieving success relatively easy and quickly and our life will get better and better. Uh, actually, I myself is an example. When I was uh, back in uni, my parents always forced me to learn to be a doctor. Uh, when I'm choosing a major, my, I don't have the ability to learn such a medical knowledge. It's too, too much for me. I, I, it's not suitable for me. Uh, some people also like to be a business, uh, finance, run business, economy. Uh, so, if, you know, I was given a choice to select these uh, majors that I like, then I would, uh, I would be, a, I might be a successful entrepreneur. <laughs> so, if we expand this, a lot of parents as well, they always force their own children to learn uh, what they want rather than what the children want. Uh, they hardly communicate with their own children about what, they, what their aspiration is. Right? They, instead, they force their aspiration on their children. Therefore, uh, that's why it's hard to see a good relationship between children and parents. Uh, because both sides do not communicate properly. Uh, everyone thinking everyone going on their way there's no communication in between for example a young person who wants to build a family first find a right couple to have a couple you need to have a few of love romance and beyond that you need to have assessment on this person's character is this person reliable is this person trustworthy right only when you get more understanding towards each other, only then you start to, ab to be able to live together and go on this life together in a long, long time. Otherwise, if one person just marry on impulse for fun or for, the, for, for that one moment of impulse, it, it won't last most of the time. Uh, there are cases where some of the lay Buddhists, they talk to me, uh, oh my god, you know, now, right now I already married, I feel very uh, hard, painful, uh, a lot of issues. Uh, uh, and then I, some, before he married, I asked him, you can go to be a monk if you want to. Uh, right now he already has family and encounter issues. Um, because he refused, like, I don't really want to go to be a monk. And then when he married, he kind of like, face all the troubles you talk to me say I you know I, right now we're thinking back to that choice I could have chosen you know this path but you know, it's already too late 